occasions is to pedal backwards. Okay. Let me give you a, a, an example. This is a little more complicated than we're going to be doing today, but it's not a very hard question. So let's say this was the question. Okay. What is your overall goal? When, and then you might want to write this in your notes, by the way. What is your overall goal when solving any equation? Who thinks they know? What's your overall goal when solving any equation? Uh, what's your name? Yeah, you. Addy. Addy. What do you think the overall goal is when you solve any equation? Uh, no. What do you think? To get rid of the x. To get rid of the x? How many do you think is to get rid of the x? You're close, by the way, Danny. What, Dakota? Find x. Find x. To get the x by its what? Self. Self. You want to write that in your notes. The goal of solving any equation is to get the variable, we're using an x there, but get the variable all by itself on one side of the equation. Get the variable on, all by itself on one side of the equation. So my goal is to get this variable, this x, all by itself on this side of the equation. What's your name? Logan. Logan, what should I, what do I need to get rid of to get that x by itself on this side of the equation? This variation. Gotta get rid of the three and the Amen. two. So the next question is, which one do we get rid of first? Sally, what do you think? Which one should we get rid of first, the three or the two? The three. And the reason is, is we're going to what? Backwards. Pedal backwards. We're going to get rid of addition and subtraction before we get rid of division and multiplication. So I'm going to get rid of the addition and subtraction. That's This is being added or subtracted to the x. So I'm just going to subtract it. Why am I subtracting 3? Yeah, go ahead, Kelly. To cancel out the 3 Yeah, well, to add it to 0, right. To get it to add to 0. This is called an inverse. Okay, inverse means what in general? The word inverse. What do you think it means? If you invert something, what do you do? You guys never heard the word inverse before? Inverse means you take the opposite. Okay, you do the opposite. So if you're going to do the inverse, or if you're inverted, that means you're the opposite of everyone else who talks to other people, right? So inverse is actually the opposite of whatever you're doing. So the opposite of addition is what? Subtraction. So I'm going to subtract three to both sides. What do we get over here, actually? What's your name? Really? Yeah. Three. Really? What do we get when we take 3 minus 3? Zero. Yeah, you get 0. What happens when we take 2x plus 0? It's just 2x. It's just 2x. So we don't really go through this step very often, but we should, in our mind, saying, hey, I subtracted 3 so that it adds to 0, and when I add 0 to anything, this is the identity, it adds 3. Okay, and then I subtract 3 to the other side. I do that to make sure that this equation is kept equal. Too many kids get in the habit of trying to be lazy and not writing minus 3 on both sides. Write the minus 3 on both sides. Don't be lazy about that, okay? And then I get 6, and then what should I get rid of next? Going backwards, Danny. Six times. And so I should divide by what? Yeah, 2. How come I'm dividing? And I like what you said, get rid of the timesing, right? Yeah. So 2 is multiplying to x. I've got to divide to get rid of it. Again, it's the opposite. Opposite of addition, subtraction. Opposite of multiplication, division. So what happens when I divide 2 by 2, by the way? What's 2 divided by 2? 1. one. What's 1 times x? 1x. Just x, Just x oh. right? Just x. 1 times anything is whatever you started with, right? If I take... I don't know, one times, what's your name? Yeah. Tristan. Tristan. If I take one times Tristan, what do I get? One Tristan. I just get Tristan, right? So you, whenever you multiply by one, it ends up with that. So I'm going to get x equals what? Three, and I'm done. Okay? So these are called two-step equations because you're going to both add and subtract. Today, we're only doing one step. So these are super, super easy equations, okay? That we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to give you the three types that we'll have today. We're going to have something like x plus 4 equals 11, x minus 3 equals negative 10, uh, 2x equals 14, 
and negative x over 3 equals 5. Okay? So let's say these are the four equations I'm going to have today. So Nick, what would I do on this equation, and what is my goal? What's my goal, first of all, Nick? Get x by itself. Get x by itself. So what should I get rid of? Minus 4. Minus 4 to both sides. So minus 4, minus 4. Okay? Again, make sure you do it to both what? Sides. Sides of the equation. Otherwise, you'll mess up later down the line. So trust me, do it now. Okay? So this is going to be what? Left on this side. Just an x, because x plus 0, right? So x equals what? What's 11 minus 4? Say it loud. 7. Okay? So x is 7. I'm done. That's all it is. Okay? So do you need a calculator to do the adding, subtracting, or uh, on this side? Or dividing? I don't care. You can use a calculator. I don't care. Okay? Griffin, what should I do here? Add. Add what? 3. Add 3 to both sides. Okay, and that, what does that give me on this side, Tristan? Uh, six. It does? Yeah. Negative three plus three is six. Oh, that's just three, isn't it? <laughs> no, that's zero. zero. Yeah. And what's x plus zero? Zero. X plus zero, zero? Yeah. I don't want that. X. I want just the x by itself. Remember, the goal overall is to get the x by itself. X plus zero is, is x. It's not zero. And then over here, what will I get? Negative. On that side. Negative. Negative what? Seven. Seven. Okay, so there's negative seven. That's that answer. Still just really one step, right? Just doing it to both sides, but just one step. Mackenzie, what should I, what is the two doing to the x here? Huh? Multiplying. So how do I get rid of it? Dividing. dividing. So I'm going to divide by what? Two. two. Don't divide by 14. Some kids try that. Don't do that. Divide by two, both sides. Again, what happens with these two? These two. Just x. They divide to one, it'll just leave an x, right? Equals, and then Dakota, what will it equal then? Seven. So, for some reason I'm on seven today. I don't know why. Okay, so, so that's that one. All right. Uh, in the back, what's your name? Ryder. Ryder. What is the 3 doing to the x? Dividing. Dividing. So what should I do? Times it. Times it. Now, I'm going to give you a hint here. This one's a little tricky. I want to times not just by 3, but by a what? 5. There's two things. You want the x by itself, and this is something I should have mentioned at the first. I want the x by itself, but I also want it positive. Is the x positive right now? No. no. How can I make it positive by multiplying? A negative times a negative. is a positive. Okay, so I want a times by a negative 3. That way, the negative times a negative will be a positive. The 3s will divide to 1. So I end up with just what? X. X. But if I times this side by negative 3, what do I do the other side by? Three. Negative 3. So remember, I'm multiplying by negative 3 on both sides, okay? So Logan, what's a positive times a negative? negative. This side's going to end up being negative, okay? Logan, this Logan, uh, what does it give me then? Negative 15. 15, okay? And that'll be my answer, okay? So this is what I want you to do now. You can stop that now.